Okay, I've been working on this Flash chat room in which people could have a chat using um, uh, Flash icons. I've been using a SmartFox server for it. But what I thought would be really cool is if um, people could upload their own avatars or create their own avatars, maybe upload their own photos, something like that, instead of having like just an empty circle, kind of like this circle you see here as your avatar who in the chat room you could have it you know personalized so I thought well I'll just work on a separate flash file to talk about well to work on some of these ideas and I'll show you what I got so far and then I'm going to show you how I did it in flash and if you're interested great um, so I created this little application that's going to work with it and it's working so Right now I open up Firefox and I'll show it to you. I'm going to refresh the window here. And when I refresh the window, okay, you get this, um, it's a blank window right now. It says Avatar Creator. And so let's say you wanted to um, upload your own um, creation, right? So you'd hit um, Browse. And then you'd browse for a file, let's say. So you get the file. And then the file name goes in here. And then you click on upload right and get a message that it started uploading right and um, upload was created and then these coordinates are here that show you the JPEG the X position the Y position and the scale and there it is you can't see it right now so I'm going to scale it down right and then um, position it over and it's a photograph that I picked up and there it is and I'll scale it down some more it's just a picture of me on the computer right and you stick it in there and now you have your avatar right and so your avatar is all created so to do that we had to um, basically uh, have flash upload a file for us to our web server right and then now what we want to do is since this is our new avatar every time we come back we want to have this information saved so I've saved this information to my computer so now if I revisit this it should show up here so I'll hit refresh and refresh the window and sure enough there it is the picture with the scale and the X and Y position is all set and um, my avatar is uploaded um, basically I have all of this is a flash file well I'll show you the my web server I've got a local web server here WAMP server WAMP 2.0 and I'll go to my www directory here and I put everything in this folder called uh, flash and in this folder right here well I'll just I have it opened up in a different folder here too let's see here www right in here in this flash folder you can see there is um, the uh, the flash file and the flash movie it's called upload test import saved finish dot swift and I've also got an HTML file for it right here so we looked at the HTML file for it right and then to do this I needed a PHP file so I've got a simple file upload dot PHP file right here and there's the image that I uploaded right here and to prove to you that it works I'll do it again I'll upload a different file so hit browse this time I'll upload a file called dan.jpg right there it is click upload it uploads and there it is it's a similar photo but scale it down move it over let's say you just want part of your face in there right hit refresh and see if it saved and it did the information saved and so when it refreshed and reloaded it was already there pretty cool if we go look at the folder there's the new picture uploaded to my web server right and once again this is the www folder of my WAMP web server just running locally I'll still have to test this out on my web host to make sure that this works on a, um, a server uh, you know not locally essentially but so far so good so if you guys want to see how I did this I can take you through the steps in, in um, creating this file so I've got a start file here and um, on this start file I will zoom in a little bit and talk about how I did it so 
it's not that great or anything, but it's not that bad either, as far as I'm concerned. So um, I'll turn off these eyeballs, and I'll just go one eyeball at a time. So I've got a background graphic. It's just a uh, just a, squ uh, a rectangle with uh, curved edges, right? You can see the curved edges here on the, with the rectangle tool. You just create that with this rectangle tool right here and put in 10 points for curved ed edges. Put in your colors, your fill, and your stroke, and you're all set. Then on this one, I put in um, a couple of buttons. This button is called T-Browse. T-Browse. Um, this button is called um, T-Upload. And then I've got a dynamic text box here. This uh, text box is called T data. T data, and it's a. Um, let's see here. I've also select selected show border around text here, right? And it's uh, set to multi line, although it only uses one line really. All right. So this is a dynamic text box, and then I've got another dynamic text box here that doesn't have. Um, the show border around text button clicked and this one's called T message for the message that shows up right so this one is T data this one's T message T upload and T browse okay and um, let's see here then on the next layer is this avatar movie clip right and this one's called avatar container it's a movie clip and if I double click on it to go inside of it inside of it is a um, mask layer right so this one is a mask layer right here it's just the oval the colored oval but it's a mask layer so if you double click right here on the icon next to the layer I made that a mask layer right I'll turn the eyeball off on that and then on this layer underneath if you double click on this icon you may have to make sure that that one's masked masked all right so I've got a mask layer here and this one um, underneath the mask layer, now I can see it because I turned the eyeball off on this one, is another movie clip called Avatar Head Outer. And if you double click on that one inside, there is another movie clip called Avatar Head. Right? And then inside there is just another shape, oval, right? Shape with a fill and a, and a, uh, a stroke. Alright, so I've got the avatar head movie clip is inside the avatar head outer, which is inside of the head container, right? So if I go all the way back to scene one, right, it's a movie clip. Inside of it, there's another movie clip. Inside of it, there's another movie clip, okay? So th nested three, three times, right? Movie clip inside of a movie clip. And, of course, once you go into the first movie clip, there is this mask and the masked layer so that we can have a mask so that the photo that you that you um, import is going to be a lot bigger than this area but only this part will show so that's kind of a tricky thing there right and then um, if I turn the eyeballs on here these are some buttons that are called Y plus Y minus um, X minus X plus this is called scale up and scale down right and I use these to move around the um, image once it's loaded into this movie clip over here alright and then avatar coordinates um, I decided to make some static text here that says avatar coordinates and then a dynamic text box that's called stats and this is so I could just test to see what are the numbers that are showing up for my um, for my image when I load it into the movie clip right and I start trying to position it and scale it you know I want to have some output so I can just see what's going on. So it's more for me than anything else. And then uh, title graphic is um, this little graphic here that I uh, made into a movie clip and then put a drop shadow on it. And then on top here is the action script, which we're going to write in here, and we'll be writing it right in there.